we have finally seen a lovely break to the upside on that pretty perfect sideways Bitcoin range that we've been trading for the past few weeks. With this break to the upside, I will be now telling you exactly what to be looking for next in this video. I will go over the upper targets that I am looking for. Hint, hint, I am looking for bullish upper targets to be hit next. The crucial support for those upper targets to be hit that's got to be maintained. Okay, my current trades and really the outlook for the next few weeks as we start to head into March. So I hope that you really enjoy this video, but of course the primary reason why I make this is to share my knowledge, insights to help you become a better trader. So that's the main mission. Let's get straight into it, picking up where I left off my last YouTube video for you all. As you remember, I hope you remember, it was just a little bit over a week ago. A lot has changed since then, but we were in around this section of the chart, right? And I was explaining why I was looking for lower prices to come. I wanted to see these lows taken out and really simply then continue to trade the range until it breaks. So that's what we were looking for. Another little bit of a move to the downside to check the reaction at the range low. Do we get a bullish reaction and thus a long trade or do we lose the range low and look for lower? Well, in the end, I think we can all see by now, we got a lovely bullish reaction. We got millions of trap shorts at the low and of course, trading the range till it break, it gave a very good long trade. Okay, and FYI, I did of course reply to the comments down down below in the video back when I made the video on the same day because we did end up taking the range low uh, you know a few hours after the video was released which is fine and of course during that video I was in the short I was looking for the range low after we hit the range low of course I'm telling my champion members I've taken the long trade and I did reply to a comment down here saying since that video is being published of course we have now hit the range low so I have opened a long trade Oh, this long trade now, well, as you can see, five days ago, it had to remain very patient. Let me spend a few minutes talking you through that, uh, bringing us up to where we are now and then looking for next. So obviously releasing that YouTube video here, bearishly biased, looking for the range low. We but absolutely were correct with that as we hit the range low and we got the lovely, absolute pin perfect bullish reaction. How is this a perfect bullish reaction at the range low? Look at that swing failure pattern of the current low. So we got a swing failure pattern and the order flow. You know, I'm all about order flow. That's what makes me a very profitable trader with a high win rate. And it's because of the order flow readings. What did we have on that swing failure pattern of the range low? We had millions of trapped shorts at the low. So what we were looking at here is 13 million new shorts opening. We had lovely negative positive, uh, <laughs> lovely negative positive, de lovely negative delta with the open interest increasing on a swing failure pattern of the range low. You could not ask for more. What does this give you? It gives you a long trade entry, of course, stop loss below the wick low of the swing failure pattern, targeting, have a guess, up to the range high. It took, it took the five days, as we all know by now, but that just simply remains, we had to remain patient, okay? As we, you know, still staying in the long trades on the 21st as we ended, we got a little bit of a rise, we got another test of the range low. While all this is going on, you know, third touch setups, we just got to remain bullish and in the long trades so during my daily updates through the week, explaining, well, there's no reason to be bearish. We are at range low. We have had a swing failure pattern. Of course, I am in long trades. Now it's just a case of remaining patience. And that is a very tough thing for many people, it seems. But for me, it's, it's very easy. And, you know, that is why I am doing well right now on the trades and why I can help you do well too if you just you know listen carefully and, and you know build up that confidence I suppose uh, but as you know we got another bit of a move to the downside but never taking out that low so quite simply uh, stop loss is not being hit still remaining in the long trade okay long trade still running as we start to get a little bit of a rally from that is then a third touch setup you know region again, not taking out the low, still remaining in the long, still looking for higher. And as we can see now from there, bam, move to the upside. So let me just summarize in 10 seconds. Last video was looking for range low. We hit the range low. So we open a long trade, trading the range till it breaks. 
We got a little bit of a rally. We came back down for the retest. Low was never taken out. Stop loss never hit. Really simply, we can absolutely remain in the long trade. And then once that happens, we can see now we finally hit the range high. And we have gone through the range high. So let me just explain here. Swing failure pattern, bullish reaction, long trade at range low, trading the range till it breaks. Breakout of range high, no bearish reaction, gone through the highs, no short trade to be had, right? There's no short trade to be had. And I am not in any short trades at the time of making this video. Of course, if we go up and hit higher targets, I'll, have, I'll open a short trade, right? If we get a failed auction, I can open a short trade. So you have to realize what I'm telling you right now is the information that I have in front of me in terms of my trades, okay? What you have to really acknowledge here is, you know, in four hours time, once I've already made this video, it's uploaded on YouTube, we could hit a target and then I could take a short trade. And, you know, you have to be able to acknowledge this and, and, and comprehend it in your brain, right? Because I know some people might think, oh, Daniel, your last video, you said you were in a short and you were bearish. Yes, during the time of making that video, I was. Then a few hours later, we hit the range low. We continue to trade the range and then we open long trades, right? Because we had the reaction and the target was hit. So the same here. Right now I am looking for higher. I'm not in any short trades, but that can obviously change <laughs> when and if we get the reaction at the targets we want. And of course, if you want that information first, you need to join the champions membership because as soon as we hit that back on the 21st, I'm telling my team it is the long trade opportunity, right? We have the order flow. We have the reaction. Let's take the long. Here we are a week later on YouTube, but hey, that's just because my time is limited for the public YouTube videos. So, right, that is enough of me talking about the plan that I had and the trades that we were left with. Okay, now we can start to focus on exactly the upper targets that I have, why I have them, and where we have in terms of an invalidation. Actually, I will say one quick thing before that, and that is a shout out to, I mean, you all know he is a legend, right? But the shout out to the coach legend, Igor, because this morning, he gave this wonderful setup. So this was in his daily live stream update, nearly an hour long, going through the markets. And he, as you can see, there's all timestamps. We got a lot of uh, new additions, really nice. But in the daily update uh, from Igor this morning, he gave the champions this long trade setup on a play. So this is what he was looking for. the A little bit of a drop to get the entry, bringing it up and taking out range high and above. And throughout the day, the legend himself was confirming the entry has been hit then it's simple simple <laughs> case of giving well i mean honestly wonderful updates here explaining the order flow explaining why he's bullish like he is why he's in that long trade making some more very wonderful profits there on the bitcoin futures right uh, and talking the team through the day and the champion members as that long progresses into some oh look at that time the absolute low of the move <laughs> after given in the daily morning live stream update uh, from the entry to the highest. Look at that. Shout out to Igor. You have to recognize that as being absolutely great. <laughs> Just look at that key entry from the target to where we are now. I mean, I have to uh, recognize and just say, wow, Eagle, you are legendary. Um, so with that said, let's move on to what we got next. So of course I am currently bullish. Why? Because from the range high, we got a clean breakout. That means we just don't get any bearish reaction in terms of visually, in terms of the order flow, we got to be thus expecting higher. So there's a, a caveat of this. We are expecting higher while we're above the range high. If we end up coming back into the range, then that obviously activates more of a bearish failed auction. Okay, so that is something that we would react to if it happens. Of course, my preferred scenario is moving up, up higher to higher targets. We could get a pullback for a retest, but we would want to see this support now hold. So resistance, resistance, flip to support. If we come down and get acceptance, that is much more bearish and we've got to react to that data if and when it comes. But for now, with the data that I have in front of me, I have got that bullish bias and I am looking for my higher price targets to be hit, which are coming in, of course, at the value area highs, right? For me, very important levels. Uh, so you want to record that. You can see them on the screen. Record those levels because for me, they are major targets. And that is what I am looking up towards, okay? That's where I would like to see hits, to be honest, above us. Um, 
the caveat is I am bullishly biased. I am not in any short trades. I am looking for higher. But if we do end up getting the failed auction, then of course, naturally, I will have to react to that and look for a lower term time frame short trade. But for now, not in any. I'm remaining with my bullish bias and looking for uh, the highs to be hit from that long trade. If we come back into the range, that for me would look at more of a failed auction setup. So, you know, this is the way that we trade. I think you can all agree that range gave four trades and four winning trades. Every trade taken from that range ended in a winner. It's like I was telling my team, uh, where is it back or long? I was telling, there you go, four trades, four wins guaranteed after we got in that long trade, right? Because we had the original short, then the long, then the short, then the long. Had to wait a few days, but of course that long played out nicely. So it gave two winning shorts and in the end two winning longs. One long now still running, of course, out of all short trades and the profits continue. This is how we build up the charts, right? We recognize ranges. We then recognize probabilities in terms of the upper targets, what would then classify as a failed auction. And all of this comes together uh, to formulate your trading plans, give you, you know, the confidence and, you know, the actual setups in front of your eyes. That's you know, that's how we do this is what we do day in, day out, every single day. It's, it's like bread, our bread and butter. But, uh, you know, if you're struggling with that, if you would like the guidance, if you'd like the more real time updates, then you know where to get it. Chartchampions.com. I will say this finally, this is for everybody, uh, members and non-members alike. Uh, I do recommend you sign up for the, at least the spectator level. That is the free spectator level. Of course, as a spectator, you do get access uh, to the beginner's course right? But also, so you get access to the newsletter. For the first time ever, I am writing a newsletter that will be released uh, on Wednesday. So you need to make sure you're signed up to spectator level, contender level, or champion level. And in there, you can go into your profile in the top right and go into privacy and tick the box to receive the newsletter. It's my first one writing. Oh, it would be nice if you read it. Uh, but if not, hey, we'll still be here looking at the charts, doing our daily updates and, you know, recognizing, well, here we go, continued strength to the upside. So yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. You know where to be if you want to see it in real time before everybody else. You could be in on right now the long trade that Eagle gave this morning. What a legend. And I will wrap it up there and say thank you ever so much. Thanks, Eagle. <laughs> A good way to start the week for CC Paul. Long's all on. And um, yeah, just look at that. But what better way to end than just showing you the, uh, the money shots? <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you. And that is me signing out. Cheers. And thank you. Goodbye.